reassure him on the subject. That might have been something to do two years ago. Two years ago, two years ago, in July of 2021, the government had a CSIS document showing that an agent for the dictatorship in Beijing was arranging to sanction and punish the family of a Canadian MP because of how he voted on the floor of the House of Commons. And yet for two years, this Prime Minister's government kept that agent accredited with diplomatic immunity, allowing him to abuse countless other Canadians of Chinese origin. How can we believe anything he says about protecting our national interests? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Simply not true. It's actually irresponsible to suggest that any government uh, might sit on a matter of such seriousness. Based on briefings that I received following yesterday's story, I know that steps have been taken to protect members when they could be in the spotlight of foreign actors because of the legitimate work they do in this place. And our security agencies will continue to independently do this important work. And I have indeed followed up directly with the member for Halton Hills to reassure him on this. The Minister is right that it would be outrageous for a government minister to know that a foreign agent was granted credentials by this government to carry out threats against an MP's family because of a vote held in this House of Commons. That would be outrageous. The only way we can know if it actually happened is if the Minister tells us when he saw this briefing note or any related information showing that the MP's family was threatened. So I ask again, when did he learn? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. No, Mr. Speaker, now uh, there have been a number of questions on this issue, and I agree with the Conservative uh, colleague uh, in a moment of um, some consensus that decisions regarding national security and intelligence should not be politicized. And I would certainly hope that that is not what the Conservative le leader is now suggesting. And yet it was him, Mr. Speaker, who said a little more than a month ago that when he was the minister responsible for democratic institutions, that he knew about these things and he didn't act because he didn't think that it was in his interest to do so. So let's now unite behind. He's got an opportunity. The Honourable Leader or the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker. We do have to put the partisanship aside. It would have been a nonpartisan act. It would have been a nonpartisan act for this government to protect the MP's family, even though he was from another party. It would have been a nonpartisan act to strip away the diplomatic immunity and kick this foreign agent out of our, can our country. But yet, this government didn't do that. So now we need to know the fact. The briefing note was produced in July of 2021 showing these threats occurred. When? When did this minister find out? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm uh, somewhat encouraged. At least the Conservative leader is now using the right words for a change in that he's saying it's nonpartisan, which is what the government has been saying now for months on this issue. And what I have said to the Conservative leader what I have said to the member for Wellington and Halton Hills is that we will work with them to get them the information on this issue. CSIS has offered a briefing to the member for Wellington and Halton Hills and that the Conservatives now, finally, hopefully after some reflection, will agree to work with the government to protect our institutions and the people that work in this chamber. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This is a question of the gravest importance. There's a member of Parliament in this House whose family has been threatened because of the way he voted here. How can we defend national security on the floor of this House of Commons if our family members are threatened based on the votes that we cast? We need to know whether the government is protecting us against that or we can't do our work. So I ask one last time, when, when, when and when did that minister know that these threats were directed at this MP's family? When? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as I've said now on numerous occasions, uh, that decisions regarding 
uh, what information is released into the public domain that touch on security and intelligence are made by our independent and nonpartisan public servants. And we have reached out to the member for Wellington Halton Hills. The government's commitment is to work with him and all members of this chamber so that we can do the work of protecting our institutions, our communities, and most importantly, the people that represent the 338 ridings in this chamber. We will do that work in a nonpartisan way.